Question number 50. Which of these equations describes a relationship in which every real number x corresponds to a non-negative real number? All right, that in English, because that's kind of a confusing question. A non-negative real number. Non-negative to me means positive, non-negative, zero or positive. Zero would work, it's not negative. Still, okay, where every real number x corresponds to a positive number. They left out something there. The way I would say it would be every real number x corresponds to a positive number y. Okay, what we're going to be looking for, I'm going to recommend that we graph these on a graphing calculator, but let me tell you what we are looking for when we graph them. Every real number x means all these numbers, x, all of these numbers from off to infinity, off to infinity, any number on the x-axis needs to correspond to a negative, excuse me, to a positive y, okay? y is positive up above the x-axis. So the graph that we're looking for basically needs to keep itself up in this area. This is where y is positive. It's also equal to zero right on the x-axis. What we don't want the graph to do is go below the x-axis because that's where y is negative, down here. y is positive up here. And we want every x to correspond to a positive y. So we want our points or our graph to be up in the positive y area. If any part of it falls below the x-axis, that will not be our answer. All right, now let's go to the calculator and graph the four equations that they gave us. Okay, so we go to our calculator. We're graphing equations, so we need to go to y equals and I've still got four equations from the last calculator problem that I did, so I need to clear out each one of those equations. So I hit clear, go down to the next one, clear, go down to the next one, clear, go down to the next one, and clear. And then make sure you go back up until you are on y sub 1. That's where we want to graph. Okay. The first equation that we are going to graph is y equals 2x. y equals 2x. So you type in 2, oops, let me use my keypad instead of my keyboard, 2x. And hit graph so we can look at it. Okay. Notice that this line, part of this line, falls below the x-axis. We said we didn't want that to happen, and this is below the x-axis, so that means that first equation is not going to be the right answer. So choice A is out. Let's go back to y equals, clear that, and type in choice B. y equals 2 x squared and hit graph. Graph. Okay, notice that this is a parabola and it the whole graph is above the x-axis. None of it falls below the x-axis. So it looks to me like B is going to be the right answer to this problem. But let's check C and D just to be sure. So go back to Y equals, type in, or clear that out, type in 2X to the third. So 2X 
To do the third power, you hit the caret key, which is right above the division key, and 3. That will be 2x to the third. That's how your calculator reads it. Hit graph, and it gives you a little snake looking thing, but the bottom part of the snake is below the y axis. So that means c is out. And our final one, go back into y equals clear, and do y equals negative. The negative key is down by the enter button. Negative 2x, and that's it, negative 2x, and hit graph. And it's a line, but part of it is below the y-axis. So the only one that worked where the whole graph stayed above the x-axis was B. The answer to question number 50 is B.